Ubi, Quintus et Horatia. When Quintus and Horatia return home from school and Flaccus returns from the field, all rest. Nice. Uh, notice uh, she added returned. It, uh, it's, it's doing double duty in that first sentence. Good job. Soon Quintus says, Father, if you are willing, tell us a story. Nice. Uh, Father, is si weis, if you are willing, if you want. Uh, I think how either one works here. Good job. He replies, what story would you like to hear, Quintus? Good. And everybody sees Ile is showing the subject has changed. Good job. Quintus says, tell me the story of Cincinnatus, Father. Good. And everybody sees the, we keep getting these imperatives, tell. Good job. Uh, of Cincinnatus, good, that's perfect. Uh, more literally about Cincinnatus, which is why it's Abilene. Good. Uh, and father here is by, he's speaking to. Tell us a story of Cincinnati, about Cincinnatus' father. Okay, good. Flaccus says, you have heard this story often, Quintus, but if you want to hear it again, I'm willing to tell it. Beautiful. I am willing uh, to tell it. That was really nice. Good job. Okay, any questions? Okay, uh, we're on the second paragraph. Uh, Cincinnatus is a weir fortis. Uh, Cincinnatus is the brave man and is experienced in war. But Good he job. Just did. half a second, please. Please. Okay. As a brave man and experienced in war, excellent. But he said how bad. Yeah, uh, but he is poor. But he is good. You can add is good. He Especially. is smart. He lives. Uh, 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 half a second. Uh, call it. He tills. Uh, what does he till? He tills a parwum agrum. Uh, ipse. I should have done this actually. Ipse. He him. Oh, there's our he himself. Do you see it, everybody? I added he because it's being used as a pronoun. He himself tills an accusative. A small field. A small farm, maybe. Trans Tibetan. Across the title. Uh, now, uh, here, at, do, do you mind, Justin, if I just translate this next phrase? Oh, yeah. uh, illo tempore. Uh, oh, no, that, that's fine. You can do it. Okay. I, I, I thought we were going to have this. Illo isco tempore. Is, uh, he lives on a hill. You Il, illo tempore. At that time. At that time. Uh, Roma orps pod west. That's the whole sentence. Rome is a orps parwa. Isn't that? At the time, Rome was small. Rome is a small, a small town. A town. small town, fine, a small uh, city. There were many enemies who would always win and take Roman territory. Uh, let's go with this as the verb. Uh, she. She. Isn't that? She always. Yes. What does she always do? She always get it. She always wages. 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 Bella multis. War. <coughs> Bella multis. Many wars. Compostibus. Uh, With her enemies. enemies. Good. Oh, thank uh, you. Okay. Fine. We're right in the middle of paragraph line nine. Once. Once the enemy army was led into okay, Roman territory. Okay, good. Enemy army, we, more literally enemy. Good job. Uh, was led into Roman territory and built camp oh, not uh, far. Oh, uh, half a second. Actually, I see uh, what happened. Uh, once the enemy is the subject, the host is uh, what does what are, they, what are they leading? They're leading an exerkitum. So, so uh, that, that, those three words, you see? Yes. Host is ducut exerkitum. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what does it mean? Uh, the, they um, led or lead. They lead a an army, army into Roman territory. Into Roman territory. Very good job. And they ponent maybe. Uh, what did you do with ponent? I said built camp. Built. Yeah, that's good. Place set up, pitched, some, uh, whatever you want. Um, they built camp not far from the walls of the city. Good. Not far from the walls of the city. Excellent. The uh, consul, the consul is the highest elect elected magistracy, uh, like our president, I guess. He's the commander in chief. Uh, there are two of them, though. Made a difference. Uh, the, the consul, the consul Romanus. 
The Roman consul, a timid and inexperienced man, Excellent. led the legion to the enemy and he, tried to repel them. Excellent. He led, uh, maybe a little bit closer, he led out the legions, but you can just say led okay. legions, and he tempta repellere the hostes. Uh, say it one more time, you're, you're exactly right. And he um, tried, what did you say? And tried to repel them. Tried to repel the enemy. Uh, just make sure um, that your translation separates these two clauses based upon the quags. So it's going to be something like he led out the legions and he tried to repel the enemy. How do we know that the enemy goes on the second side because of the quay? Good? Uh, they build camp on a hill near the enemies. Yeah, uh, he probably, the, it does mean they, because the general is not the one building the camp, but mm -hmm. it says he. Uh, but they were afraid to attack. Uh, same same he thing, he. Afraid. In this case, it really does mean he. And he, he was, was but, but he was afraid to attack. Just a half a second, please. Uh, your undivided attention. Uh, okay. But but he was afraid to attack. So he set up camp not far from the enemy, uh, near the enemy. But he was afraid to attack. Okay. Thank they, you. the subject has changed. They quickly encircled the Roman camp and besieged Good. the army. Excellent. Besieged the army. Besieged means to surround and not allow provisions in. Okay. Oh, awesome. Good job. Any questions? Is your, your, your undivided attention. Uh, when the city, when the citizens learn this, um, Kiwis is the subject. When the citizens uh, learn literally these things. Yeah, but uh, better English when the citizens learn this. Do you, do you recognize height? Uh, think about the plural. He, hi, height. Do you see the neuter plural? In, in this case, it's accusative because it's the object. Okay, when the citizens learn this thing, everyone is truly afraid. Everyone is truly afraid. They convene at the Coria, at the Senate House. It's probably a better way than saying at, but whatever. Um, and they tell the senators, uh, literally the fathers, uh, to save the city. Uh, they exclaim, the city is in great danger. Uh, just to have, uh, guys, uh, that's very distracting, please. Um, the city is in great danger. Um, save, there's a command, save the city. Oh, fathers, oh, senators. Uh, repel, another command, because they're talking to, you know, the senators, plural. Repel the enemy. Uh, the consul uh, says to the fathers, to the senators, um, what ought we to do? What ought we to do? What should we do? What, what must we do? It's better English. Oh, senators, how are we able to save the city? The fathers respond, Cincinnatus alone is able to save, ooh, here's a blast from the past, Nos. Do you remember it? Neuter, uh, I'm sorry, masculine accusative plural, nos. Nos, nostrum, nobis, nos. Uh, Cincinnatus alone is able to save us, uh, for he is uh, experienced in warfare and a brave man who loves his fatherland, of course he does, and he always conquers the enemy. What a guy. Um, we ought to elect him elect him, create him, appoint him, dictator. Dictator is not a pejorative, it's an actual constitutional office. Uh, in an emergency, uh, the two consuls uh, are replaced. Now the two consuls, there are checks and balances on the consuls' power, and there are two of them. Uh, both of those things perhaps are bad in an emergency. Therefore, the two consuls are replaced by one dictator. Um, uh, who his term of office is usually only six months, uh, but there are n there's only one 
Uh, and uh, although he has an assistant, assistant dictator, you might say, uh, Magister Equus, um, there's only one, and there are not so many checks on his authority. We ought to appoint him dictator, um, summon Cincinnatus to the city at once. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. I